Hey, what's up, Hacks Planner? Super excited to have you back. Today, we're going to look at the extra language challenge, five star one, telling us to retrieve the language file that never made it into production. Broken anti automation, brute force, and yeah, we're getting a couple of hints over here saying that brute force might be one way to solve this, but it also says that this is not the only option. So, we do have a couple more. So let's see what we can find out. We're going to find an extra language. So the first thing I'm going to start out with is clicking on the language bar section over here. And I'm going to click on a couple of them just to see if there's anything changing. So Bahasa Indonesia, for example, we do see that name, Tinka, Kazulitan, whatever that means. Like there's a couple of things that change, a couple of strings, but apparently not all of them. So I guess language support support is not equally as good as for English. But yeah, I'm just clicking a couple of those right now. And I obviously have Burp Suite running in the background. And we do see that there is a couple of language language JSON files being loaded. So what happens if we click on one of those? This is probably the Danish one right now. We do see that we're loading get assets i one eight n slash d a underscore d k dot json and this is not modified as I have probably been loading this before. So what happens if we click on a couple of others? Let's scroll down to whatever the very bottom and I'm going to choose Turkish. And one more time, I'm going to check this over here. So we do see another file being loaded. And right now we see what is actually happening. So there is, um, I think this means the string language. Oh, this is actually that this language is Turkish. And I think those strings down below here just mean that, for example, title login means Giris in Turkish. And if we have a look, there is literally like a Turkish translation for all the English strings. So label status is do remove. All right. I definitely needed to know that today. So next up, what we are going to do is we're going to use some OSINT, open source intelligence. And for that, I'm going to hop over to Google being a good friend of mine. And I'm going to say, always choose shop language support and i want to know what we do find over here first thing that i see is always choose shop crowd in so what's that we click on that all right so what's going on over here this is actually a page that shows us a couple of flags flags are good when we are speaking about languages so let's look at those we see arabic Azerbaijani, Bulgarian, Burmese, Catalan. So that pretty much maps to what we see. So if I go over here to choose shop, what we see over here. So Azerbaijani, for example, is the first one. So the question right now is, do we have anything in here that could be an additional language? And if I look at all those, those seem to be proper languages being spoken in all those countries. And moving on, I see Klingon over here. And this is not really a spoken language in a specific country. And as I know that Bjorn Kimenig, who is the owner slash program of OSP2 Shop, likes to use DV stuff in OSP2 Shop, I might just go ahead and quickly check if we have Klingon over here. So Klingon. K, that would be A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Uh, no, there is no K in this list over here. So it might be Klingon. And let's quickly check how those languages, what those are saying over here. So we do see, if we look down below at the link in the bottom left corner, we do see that those have a little abbreviation over here like bg m y c a all right so let's go to burp suite let's choose turkish send this to repeater control r 
and set this to the server again. And we do see that we're getting the response by asking for tr underscore tr .json. So the question right now is how do we get our Klingon language? It's pretty much the same path, I guess, to retrieve it, but we need to find the right letter combination over here in order to get the language file. And as I've been hovering already over a couple of those, so let's do that again, Hindi, HI, Hungarian is AGU, Indonesian, ID, and then let's hover over Klingon. And doing that, we see that this is TLH minus AA. So this is interesting. First of all, this comes with way more letters than all the others. But um, yeah, let's remember that for now. TLH minus AA and go back to our verb suite. So I'm putting myself right in here where the name is of the language and I'm going to delete that. And I just said we say TLH minus capital A's two times JSON. So let's see what happens if we send this to Chewshop. We are getting back nothing. So let's just quickly check if we did change anything, probably not. And as we've seen before, with Turkish, they actually used an underscore down below here rather than a minus. So let's try and say TLH underscore AA and see what happens next. Hey, and here we go. This is TLH Ingen Klingon. And we do see that we have translations over here for a couple of English words. So, for example, status unavailable becomes do owe me rub. I am pretty sure that I'm not pronouncing this correct, but who cares? All right, and if we go over here, we do see that Barsali Busekil, this is actually quite funny because I'm getting the information that I've sold the challenge in Turkish right now, but good to do news and we have sold extra language retrieve the language file that never made it into production all right so we've solved this challenge that is awesome thank you guys as always for watching this video make sure to check out all the others subscribe in the top right corner and please make sure to step by at my patreon or buy me a coffee and help me out a little bit with my channel with that i will see you next time